This episode of The Direction is brought to you by South Carolina 811. Know what's below. Call before you dig. We've ended up here at VIP Adventures in South Carolina. Has a number of lakes here that folks can come down and fish. One in the boat. I found these crappy and y'all ain't gonna get me to leave now. Look at that, that's a slab there. It's the Misty oh. Carl Show right here. You're a mark. Yeah, I, yeah, that's <laughs> real fun. Well, that one is a slab. Yeah. That is a big old thick back crappie right there. Everyone has a story. Sometimes it's about catching monster bass. Now that's a studly mudly baby. And sometimes it's about life's lessons. Every story is as unique as the person who tells it. So join us as we make some new friends, reunite with some old ones, catch a few fish, and share a story or two. I'm Mark Stowe, and this is The Direction. Fishing has long been considered as a relaxing, enjoyable hobby, best spent with some good friends. For the last several years, Mark, Misty, and Carl have made it a priority to mark out a couple of days off the calendar to get together for what has been known as the Happy Meal Bet. Everyone loves a little competition, right? This year, the crew is fishing at VIP Adventures in South Carolina, known for its giant crappie. With plenty of Jenko baits tied on the Denali rods, there's going to be a lot of fish caught and a lot of laughs to be had. Now, let me tell you, I brought the cold weather with me and y'all are wimpy, wimpy, wimpy. Look, come here, let's one. see. Got one. Little fuzzy gloves on. <laughs> You're all bundled up. Oh, yeah. yeah. South Carolina, layers. you think warm Whoa. weather. It's already fat. Balmy. Affecting my, my cast accuracy. That's my excuse. Yeah, this is definitely going to get no in the way excuse. of a good time. I don't need an excuse. I'm ready. I'm delicate. I'm from I south. I love snow, folks. <laughs> snow to come right here to 40 degree weather in South Carolina. And y'all are complaining about the weather. Mm -hmm. But you know what one complaint I don't have? We've ended up here at VIP Adventures in South Carolina. Yep. Uh, Mark DeShane, right? Yep. Uh, he actually manages this place and has a number of lakes here that folks can come down and fish. Later today, Mark's gonna come down and join us. We're gonna go out, hit the water this morning, fish for a while, and then Mark will be coming down with his boat. Other than that, I think that the three of us ought to hit the water and get to catching some fish. Let's go. Ready, ready, ready. Set the hook like a pro on that one. Did you see that? Yeah, I saw it. <laughs> All right. Now I got an ultra light. This is a different story. Oh, that, hey, that's some fun catching right there. Oh, baby. That's right. First one to catch a bass is all that really matters. Mittens and all, number, baby. Number one, number one in the boat. Now, this is going to be a problem with mittens on. I'm just going to put that out there. Why is that guy One in the boat. Get... The real deal, Holyfield, because we aren't going to talk about the one that Carl has. Oh, oh, I missed you. Shoot. I'm not going to leave. I'm not, I'm not going to let you get too far ahead of me. Ah, these mittens are a problem. Ah. It's going to slow me down. I think mine's a whole lot bigger. <laughs> I mean, just a whole lot bigger. <laughs> you see how he just got all ghetto in my area here, like hoboed right into my spot. <laughs> Look at this hook up here again. Hold Look on at there, Hoss. Misty. Marcus. She is putting a whooping on us so far now. So you got to make friends with the guide. That's the deal. <laughs> yeah, I see that. Get him to bring you your baits, everything else. Yeah. This segment was brought to you by Jinko Fishing. It's all about the action. You hook up on a five pounder on that and it's gonna be chaos. <laughs> well, the line's not very long, so. Beast 
of the week. And especially the, the net that I have with us. That's right. Right it is wild how clear it is at the bottom. What are you doing? My little ultra light now. The little the Prime Series Ultra Light. Catching me a little bass, so you're mean, buddy. Nothing. It's a smoke show. Okay. Give you a little kiss. You know, it's like Carl's missing. You notice he's not making any noise. He did say he wanted a back boat instead of front boat. Grassy. You got him. He's just small enough you can't tell he's on there. Misty's catching. Wait a minute. We're going to have hey, to do this. trophy. Hold on. Trophy. Hold on. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Go ahead. Come on. I don't know that I can put my finger in his mouth. It's Whoa! too small. All okay. right, Misty. This is going to be for showboating right here. I don't like your style. I kind of do. This one could have ate that one. It's all right, though. I'm, I'm on the Let's board, at hold least. Hold them like trophies. Listen, I got my Let's own Let's hold problems. them like trophies. <laughs> you, have to hold, you close it like closer to the Mine's camera. Mine's going to eat yours. <laughs> Oh my gosh, get me out of this, Mark. <laughs> you only, go. only got one hand. Your finger's not in no, it. Right, hold not. on. These mittens are a bad idea. I'm about to take them off. I don't get talking about baits all the time, but I've done a couple of shows with this bait. This is probably one of my favorite jerk baits. This is a Pursues 110 by Jinko. And uh, if you ever throw this jerk bait, when you throw it, I mean, it stops. It just sits. It's a Probably one of the, truthfully in my book, one of the most balanced, just great running jerk baits out there. Uh oh. Oh, Mark. Oh, you're not gonna believe that. Oh yeah, I'm a catfish. No. You're not gonna believe this. Crappie? Oh, yeah, no. whoa, buddy. wait a minute. No, 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 no. Oh, that's not nice. What? No, it's not. Carl. Wow. Where'd he come from? Right, on. He right out here on this point. Where's he going? On the ridge. Oh, a little chunky and in the now. Well, a little chunky well, well, chicken. Now I'm back in the mittens again. Don't fail me now. He swallowed the whole thing. Look at you, Misty. I ain't oh, that on a swim bait? Yep. Hey, now. Hey, hey, hey. Hold hey. on a second. Where's them clippers? Okay, you two. I'm gonna have to get this in here. He's in there. Oh, what you got on? Let's go! You got My it. man! They're right there. I'm off of them. School of crappie up here swimming around. And I found them now. I found these crappie and y'all ain't gonna get me to leave now. Look at it. This is That's where Carl got into him. He said there's four pound crappie in here. I'm all for that. Jeez. <laughs> there he is. Oh, I got him live scoped up now, baby. <laughs> Man, y'all keep putting me in the wind. Oh yeah, I found me some crappie. South Carolina crappie, folks, right there, cranking. You wouldn't get caught out on the lake without your favorite bait. So why would you get caught digging without calling 811? Are you getting ready to start your own digging project? Be sure to call 811 and get your underground utilities located. It's the law and it's free. Here, try this. This segment is brought to you by Denali Rods, tournament tested, tournament tough.
I don't, uh oh. What is he doing? Cranking crappie, boys and girls. Doing? Cranking crappie. It's what I do. Look wow. at that slab bear. Man. Hey, if I can see them, I can catch them. <laughs> and I can see them on this thing. Look at that. They are nice looking fish. Hey, who needs bass fishing when you can catch crappie? South Carolina yeah. crop. That's South Carolina crankbait crap. How about that? See, Missy has got this crappie fishing. She's putting a smack down on these <laughs> things now. That's a pretty good size one. Look at that. That's a slab bear. That's a good one. Going down. I just had to find a new breed of fish to win with. That's right. Carl hiding back in the back. Let's go. What I got hung up here? Got too much gear on. I'm hung up in my wardrobe again. <laughs> it's either my mittens or my jacket. You got one? No, I think I got my fish. Hey, hey, you worry about you, Carl. I worry about my fish. Look, I got this now. Do I got you? I got me a fish. <laughs> I he did the same thing to me a minute ago. I'm like a little kid. You let me get a hold of these crappie. Oh my goodness! Look at that school. See them right there. Yeah, well, I'm gonna. You know, I'm on the struggle bus right now, Mark. I'm on I'm there with. I'm on there with you. Figure it out. There you go. I just want to know which pond's got the three and four pounders in. You got them? Yep. Good oh, this is a hammer. A Look at you two, and I can't even catch cold. Look at this. Oh, you got a good one. She's got a good one. Yeah, to keep them for pictures now. You two, them was nice. South. My crappie catching. Look at these crappie snatchers. South Kakalaki, baby. Let's Look go. At them. I'm out of the picture. <laughs> this is the Misty oh. Carl show right here. You're Mark. Yeah, yeah, that's <laughs> real fun. Well, that one is a slam. Yeah. They, you know, look at this. These two over here kissing doubles, leaving me out of action. Yeah. Right. No, it ain't all right. That hurts. Hey, Where are you throwing at over here that we don't, we're we not seeing them on the live scope? In the back of the boat. Well played, Carl. Oh, that's a nice one. Ooh, you got him. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's real nice, y'all. We just. I, I, I seem to remember. Y'all were over there catching them on the shad rat. In, in Vieira. If that's a crappie, I might have a real good one. Right okay. On the so, edge of a grass line or something. So notice they don't even acknowledge mine. They turn their back. They just act like it's not happening. Mm -mm, nope. That nice, bud. Mm -mm, nope. Man, the weather's great, right? You get out of the wind for a second. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Man. Huh? Cool. Like I said, oh, is there something? Yeah, What's that smell? Look, turn them back. <laughs> oh, look, there's TV. There's TV on over here. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it's cool. I'll just throw mine back. Don't worry, I don't have a Look at that, you just move right in the front. You grab this thing, we can get this thing going. Right where the thing's going. I'll just go back here and fish by myself. These South Carolina folks, they ain't too hospitable. <laughs> we just pushed you right out of this spot. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there's hey, something else Mark, up here. Y'all yeah, real nice. I may have a cow. Stink, stink fish? No, I'm being for real. I may have a slab here. Or my reels just got no pie. Oh, you got a good one. What is that? Big, big fitting of grass and a bass. That is a big old thick backed crappie right there. Oh my there. gosh, look at him. He is a big one. That oh might be my. the biggest one. That looks like a big one. That is a studly mudly. 
Oh, we're dropping. Amateur. You got to get him in our spot, Carl. Whew. We got to pull a Brent Anderson and take control. Good <laughs> night. Side out rotation. Yep. South Carolina VIP adventure crappie right there. Talk to Shay, look at this, Missy, you hooking up. Try Come not on, hit Carl, Chris in one the more head. time, let's triple it up. Triple it up, let's go, let's go. That's a pretty good one too. Yeah, that, you're, you're, that there's giving you a little. Where the heck is he? Look at hammer time here. <laughs> Yeah, buddy. Oh, I hit the fourth one on. What? I was trying to catch he another one on my own. I had head. another one on. I was trying to catch him. I couldn't reel, though. <laughs> Not right Back there. Again. Now that is some flag. This segment is brought to you by Ranger Boats. Still building legends one at a time. Well, we've been waiting for the ninja to get here all day. He is now here in person. Yes, uh, sir. And just to stop and say something important, thanks for having us down, by the you way. Welcome. You're welcome. Uh, you welcome. We had fun. Uh, we got over there on the other lake, caught a bunch of crappie, uh, caught quite a few bass as well, and uh, had a good time. And we're going to be jumping in the boat, taking Misty out. Carl's getting kicked out for the afternoon. Sorry, bro. Uh, Mark is saying that we're going to take Misty out here and try to catch the biggest crappie that Misty has ever caught. Let Plus. me re let me rephrase <laughs> that. We're going to catch the biggest one she's ever caught. It's a pressure like play. The sun's going down. The pressure's on. Pressure's on. So how many years have you been running VIP Adventures? I've been running VIP for 35 years. We're going to let Misty. This is a one of two spots. Okay. Okay. I'm going to show her how to line up on it in just a minute. Right. I do everything from memory. Everything's from memory. I know there's 80 trees in here that I have lined up with another tree. There's Mark no way, but in my brain. Old school. That's scary. Okay. This is old school <laughs> fisherman, and you don't ever doubt them, let me promise you. How big crappie have you actually caught out of here, Mark, the biggest? I reckon it's 4-4. Four, 4-4. Four. Four, four. And you think about a 4-4 four, four crappie, that is a brute. See the black box on the brain? I do. Brain? There's a gum tree that big around it, right behind it. Mm -hmm. I want you to throw right at it as far as you can throw. Noted. Go ahead and bring it to you. Pretty good little lick. Let me know if you bump anything. Bring it to you a little bit quicker. Bump something. Mm -hmm. Keep it coming. He on, he's, he's on it. He's, he's on, on it. There he is. There he is. There he is. Misty's on. Let's he is go. On. One cast on. at it. First, the cast is two. Nice one, two. Oh, oh yeah. Right. Somebody got a net in this boat? <laughs> no, no God, sir. No, he doesn't have a net. We're, uh, oh, we're, we're, oh, look at it. Look at that. That's a good one. Oh, 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 look at <laughs> the size of that. That's not terrible. That one's bigger than the one we caught so far. I'm not mad at it. All right. You got him. Oh, my. Mm. Look at the bike on him. Mm -hmm. Try not to hook you. Yeah, I can. <laughs> I've been hooked about a thousand times a day with a treble hook. They're not my face. That's a slab. That's what we call a VIP slab, y'all. Now, now, what do you think that one? Two? Yeah, yeah right a couple pounds. It's bigger yeah. than the other one. Oh, a lot bigger. Look at the bike. Yeah. See how thick he is? Them other ones, you look over there, they were thin. That's in the pine straw. There he is. Mm. Keep him. He, he's on. He's a good one. He's a good one. Just keep him. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Another boat flip. Slab. <laughs> you see her boat flip at him. Look at that boat flip on that slab right there. That is I'm not mad slab. at it. You, you growing <laughs> some brute. You are growing Can't some cast, brute. Can't cast worth a flip, but I'm used to flipping with Mark. That's flipping's his deal, you know. Nice fish. Not nice. terrible. South Carolina. That is a beauty. South Carolina. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful fish. 
It's not terrible. You want to hold it? Now it's time for your safe digging moment of the week brought to you by 811. Always remember to call before you dig. Our 811 moment of the week has got to be Misty Weiss catching her personal best ever crappie. What was so cool about the moment is that Ninja had told her, Misty, you're gonna go out and catch your personal best crappie, and you're gonna do it right here in this exact spot. And what happened? Well, she caught her personal best crappie. I don't believe it was 30 years of being a ninja and karate guy. I think you were a fish whisperer after watching you talk them two pound crappie into jumping in the boat for her. Well, <laughs> talk them into jumping in the boat. Oh, excuse me. Oh. It was talent that caught them. It was. We always got to give credit where credit's due. Makes sense. But you always got to have a little knowledge. Uh, we just saw her, the 811 special. Wow. Special. That's it. She's the 811 special. Once again, another great time on the water with my good friends, Misty and Carl. It's always fun getting together with these two because, well, you never know what we're gonna catch and where we're gonna go. And this trip to VIP Adventures was no letdown. And by the way, if you've never been to VIP Adventures, you might wanna stop in out there and do a little fishing sometime with our good friend, Mark DeShane, known as Ninja. The direction is brought to you by 811. Know what's below, call before you dig. We would also like to thank these fine partners. Closed captioning is brought to you by USA North. Call 811 before you dig.